And we're back. Oh, fuck me, dude. So, I think I remember when we skipped this tower. Yeah. Uh, this is the hardest tower in the game. But, you have Revali's Gale now. So, I think you'll be able to do it. So these guys, like, if I shoot them, they don't die, right? Like, if I, I Not immediately. How, how hard are they to kill again? It's pretty hard, right? Yeah. These are the lightning ones, so you can't insta-kill them oh, at man, all. And it's all over water, so... Mm-hmm. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save right here. Good idea. If I don't get it the first time, then it ain't happening. <laughs> well, no, I think you can get it, right? So basically, you just need to use your Revali Gale. Yeah. You just need to fly across, and then fly up, and then you'll be good. You've got two uses left before it needs to recharge, so. Oh yeah, you've got this. Oh, yeah, you fly way higher than I remember, so. There you go, easy tower. Thank God, because I was not emotionally prepared. <laughs> prepared. <laughs> yeah. For for a battle. Uh. And so yeah, Rivali's Gale. Uh, how it works, by the way, is you get three. You have three charges, and then it needs, I think, like uh, I don't know if two minutes is like the powered up version, but. Yeah, uh, I'm probably more like five minutes to recharge them. All right, cool. That's pretty nice, though. Yeah, so usually if you can, it's better to use all three of them in quick succession, so that way you know you have three whenever you need them. Whenever you need them. Yeah, I was just thinking that, too. I'm sure there's some Zelda pro out there who's like, what the fuck is he talking about? You want to conserve your Revali's Gale. But, but the speed runs! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, literally there was, on my most recent run of this game, the one where I got all 120 shrines, I was just like, you know what, I, I just want to, like, completely explore this game, I don't want to worry about the main quest in the slightest, Yeah. but I still rush to, uh, do Vomido first, just because I like traveling with Rivali's Gale way better yeah. than regular movement. I mean, I could just learn to wind bomb, but nobody's got time for that. I don't like that. I guess I'll just have to take this slow then. Yeah, or you just fly up. That's true. I can use my last Revali scale and then. Oh, oh god. Too high. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> Link was sent into the stratosphere, never to be seen again. Some say Hyrule is still under the rule of Chlamydia again into this day. <laughs> uh, let's get this tower knocked out. Yep. There you go. Now your map's going to look a little more complete. That's really what it's about. Mm hmm. Now we can head wherever you like after this. Anywhere without these fucking wizards, I can tell you that. Yep. Hyrule is your oyster. Who's this bitch? Oh, I can't. I, I think I remember this guy. Oyster, clam, midia. <gasps> it's all coming together. <laughs> <laughs> the strings are are getting t tied to the pins on the whiteboard, people. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's getting real. <laughs> uh, have you seen Community? No, I haven't. Uh, there's a fucking in season three. There's this character played by Ken Jeong. Yeah, uh, it's Chang. And, uh, basically, he becomes the school security guard. And, uh, what's the word? I don't remember the word. But basically, he looks at a matchbook, and he's like, Ar oh, it's, he's like, Arizona. It's a palindrome. That must mean something. But Arizona's not a fucking palindrome. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I, I mean, I can see at first glance, or he, but basically it, his whole arc in that season is that he's out of his mind insane, so. Oh my god. It's Hitler. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, this is quite high if only I was a bolt man. <laughs> wow, <Wah>, Luigi. <laughs> Where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. How how did you get up here? So I suppose you could ask me that same question. You see, I dedicated my life to the study of the Birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate Okay, me. they're called Rito, and they literally live like a couple miles from here. You could just have gone and talked to them. Yeah, also, like I feel like a Birdman's probably a derogatory term. Yeah! That's like... It's like if an African studies guy was like, yeah, I spent my entire life studying redacted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Given their weights, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with the rings that size. According to all known laws of aviation, <laughs> there's no way a Rito should be able to fly. The Rito, however, flies anyway, because they do not care what humans think. <laughs> I was standing on the ground, watching the skies, when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. What's the? What are the odds that that happens to two dudes? Apparently, apparently there is a point where just everybody was standing <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. Just like spread out evenly. <laughs> yeah. And I've been stuck here ever since, with no way to get down. Oh. But my misfortune is a blessing and disguise. You see, this tower is the, the perfect place to observe the birdmen in their natural habitat. Literally just go talk to one. Oh my. Now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. <laughs> get dead, bro. <laughs> what? You can fly? You can fly like the birdman? This is true? I thought this was impossible for a highly to fly like the Batman. I'm like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it is more like gliding then. This is still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance on trajectory, it might be able to help us understand the si Oh, excuse me. <laughs> ah, the science of Birdman. Just science. go ask one to help you. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <clears throat> ah. Would you mind participating in a sort research study? <laughs> I want to see how far you can glide. You know, this guy gets off to just flight in general. But same. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be compensated for your time and travel, depending on how <clears throat> far you fly. So how about it? I'm glad for you. <laughs> Marvelous. Our findings today may prove the, to be the cornerstone of the Birdman research generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research project. As such, a liability of... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, as such, a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed, you know, in case I have to file an incident report. I swear, if this man runs off with my money, I'm going to rip his dick <laughs> off. Yeah, he's going to be like, okay, you glide down there. I'll wait up here for you and just, you know, come back. Just Landing elevation, wind direction, and stamina usage. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, you just gotta go as far as you possibly can. Uh, oh. Does he want me to fly in this direction? He wants you to just go in a direction and go as far as you can. Probably be best to hit the canyon then, that way I can drop for a little bit and regain stamina. Yeah. And then... Man, I really wish I had my ability. 
to... Oh, yeah, that would help. But it's fine. I'm sure you can earn your rupees back. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> we'll just wait. <laughs> yeah. This man is literally. Can, do you piling. know if I could repeat this quest? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, sweet. This just costs 20 rupees every time. Oh, fucking tight. Okay. No problem. I don't know how far you have to go for him to pay you more than 20 rupees, but. Wait. I'd make like 40, though, right? It's not like I just make my rupees back. Uh, it depends on how far you go. Ooh, there's a shrine right there, though. Yeah, you can just mark this on your map real quick. Ah. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> and that's the story of how Link broke his ankles. Link don't need no ankles. Yeah, that's true. Link, Link might have skipped leg day a little bit. I don't know. I haven't looked at ah. his legs that much. He flew 455.4 meters. Alright. This guy makes you pay him $20 to participate in his study, and then complains about giving you a reward. So I made one rupee. Uh, yes. I'm gonna push this guy off the tower. Fine. Oh, okay. This fucking scam artist. Link was gonna push him off the tower. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm done. <laughs> this this guy's gonna run out of food soon. Yeah. A after after he started charging me money, like he didn't deserve an accent. You know <laughs> That's I mean? fair. It's like you you don't get a pull you don't want to pull you don't get a pull one over on me and mm -hmm. then and then let me do voice acting for you. Yeah. For Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. That's why Pan's Remados is so great. We know that nobody in there is going to scam us out of our money. So we do accents for all the girls. Exactly. <laughs> accents for bitches. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fair trade. That's, uh... So on Twitch, there's the, uh... Channel points thing. Basically, people gain points just for watching your videos. And they can spend them on rewards. There's, like, the generic rewards. But I think for, uh... Some of my custom rewards, I'm gonna do, like, spend ten minutes talking in specific accents. Or, like, in specific voices. Yeah, yeah. I think the most expensive one is gonna be ten minutes as, uh... The lady from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> Roz. Yeah. Because that's going to be a difficult voice to hold up oh, for a for while. Ten minutes. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, that one's going to be like a lot of channel points. <laughs> Today we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get one more freeze off of an ice beam, I'm going to fucking shoot you in the head. <laughs> That was not a good Roz. I need to I need to See, find that voice. You gotta work on it before you make it something yeah. people are paying for. Don't want to I could I could just do smoker voice instead. That's, That's true. I don't have to give a specific character. It's it's one of those where this similarly to the way I do the vodka thing in um Yeah. Where I say vodka under my breath, I'd have to be like Wazowski every single time I'm about to say something. <laughs> Wazowski. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Oh, shit, fuck. Okay, then. Go on. I don't know what's been up with these shrines. I'm just fucking yeeting you in the air. I don't mind. <clears throat> Yeah. 
very intense stuff. Yeah, very. Hopefully it'll go yeah. there. Oh, right. This is You're using the one that uh, shoots three arrows. It only uses one arrow at a time, but it shoots three arrows, so... The scat man. Oh, I can just pick it up. Yeah. Well, that's phenomenal. You know, Link can just carry a, a fucking two-ton stone ball above his head. It's fine. It's not. That's not how I wanted things to go. The RB thing. I think so. Yep. Nice. Imagine if they didn't let you use your paraglider in this. You'd have to be so precise. This is true. I honestly, uh, don't exactly know what to do. That thing, the switch, yeah. makes the platform rise. Oh, yeah. Can it be reset? Yeah. Hit it again. Oh, I okay. See, now that's what it was. So I thought, I thought it was going to be Oh, okay, yeah, no. There you go. Like, God, God gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I what? swear to God. <laughs> that was like the, the perfect. Good. Nope, okay. So, we're gonna get back up there. Oh, no, yeah, it's literally the rest of the episode is gonna be me struggling to figure this out again. We've only got three minutes. There we go. Alright, now things move. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you almost oh. fucking did it again. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh. I just, I can't wait for our channel to reach that popularity where people start making, like, shot like just shortcut memes of of it like yeah parts where I'm like I'm a god gamer and then bam 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 I mean I could do that <laughs> <laughs> or like the fucking uh where it's like uh goes black and white and it's got the to be continued on the bottom it's like do yeah. do 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 I don't I don't know the music ba da 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 uh how is it 3 it's 4 4 okay sweet let's go get ourselves Mm -hmm. And in any village, you'll be able to find uh, one of these, one of the goddess statues. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. Uh... Well, we haven't decided which divine beast we're going to next, or if it's even true. if a divine beast is what we're doing next. I think I'd benefit more from stamina or probably health, huh? Uh, I don't know. Is there a third option? No. Magica. I, how's my mana love this? Oh, shit. Change your weapon. Change your weapon now. Just, like, change it or drop it? Uh, just unequip all your weapons. Okay. This one seems fine. Yeah, that one's fine. You you need nothing metal right now. This seems fine. Mm hmm Check your shield, too. I don't think I'm wielding a shield because I was using a two-handed weapon. Mm -hmm. You can still have one equipped. Is this one okay over here? Hmm? The blue one's okay, yeah. The guardian shields are not made of metal, so you're good. And then your clothes don't matter. Your clothes, even though your clothes technically have metal armor, it doesn't react the same way. Okay, cool. Oof. Yeah. Spoopy. You can still get struck by lightning, it's just... It not won't automatically long. happen yeah. now. <laughs> not as likely. <laughs> yeah. Now that you're not carrying a giant ass lightning rod around, uh, <laughs> it does help with the whole not getting hit by lightning experience. Yeah. Damn. Okay. 
Yeah, so there's a divine beast in that area. I feel like this and then there's is this, one. Is this in, one one of the harder ones, or uh, the only two left are a bit harder. Harder than water blight, or harder than well, okay. Boss wise, the one in the volcano area is easier, but actually getting to it, it's probably one of the harder ones. Okay. <clears throat> but it's up to you. You can also just uh, turn on the uh, dots and see where they both are at and see which one you'd rather go to. The other one is uh, in that bottom left area. I think we should go to the other one because... You know, nothing, nothing, nothing beats a good old couple episodes of us exploring that. Yeah? You want to decide where we're going in the next episode? I already know. Alright. Well, we will reveal where we're going in the next episode. <laughs>